Yo guys, what the hell is going on? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 22 and in this video we're going to talk all about the first and last of type pseudo classes. That's coming right up. <laughs> okay then, so here I am back in the HTML file and I've kept up the rules we used last time when we talked about first child and last child because I want to demonstrate how that now I've changed the HTML, they're not going to work. And I've changed the HTML in this way. In each article, I've added at the top H2, and that's going to be the article title. And then at the bottom of each article, I've added this HR tag, which, remember, is a horizontal rule. And that's going to add a line at the bottom of each article to kind of separate them. So in the last video, we tried targeting the first child and the last child P tags. Now, this isn't going to work anymore now that I've added these extra tags. And this is why. The P we want to target is this, and it's no longer the first child. The first child is this H2, and this is now the second child. Likewise, at the end, this is no longer the last child. The last child is this HR. Okay, this is the second to last child. So how do we get around this? Well, we can use what's called the first of type and last of type. Okay, and even though this is not the first child, this P tag here within the article, it's the first child of that type. And by that type, I mean the first P, okay, it's uh, that there's you know there's four P tags here, and this is the first of that type. The type is P, and that's the first of them. Does that make sense? So we can still target that using the first of type pseudo class, and this is how we write it. We keep our basic select to the same article P because that's going after every P in an article, and then we hold it down by adding the pseudo class with a colon and then the keyword of first of type and they're separated by hyphens there and there and then like I said that grabs the first P within that article which is this so we can still do it and likewise the last of type P is here because it's the last P within the article that makes sense yeah so again we can still target this with a pseudo class by having our simple selector grabbing all the P's then adding our colon to say pseudo class is coming up and then adding the keyword last hyphen of hyphen type it's as simple as that guys that's all we do so I'm going to save this and we'll view it in a browser just to make sure it's worked show this in Google Chrome Okay, and absolutely no change from last time. We've got our article titles here. We've got our horizontal uh, horizontal rules here and here, splitting up the articles, but we're still managing to target this first P and this last P, okay? So that's really cool. The fact that not only have we got first child and last child, but if other elements are getting in the way, we've got first of type and last of type to fall back on. And if this doesn't work, then there is another way. I'm not going to cover that here. I'm going to cover that in the next lesson. That's called the nth child selector. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that in the next video. In the meantime, if you have any comments or questions about these two pseudo classes, then feel free to comment below. I'm going to try and answer all of those as soon as I can. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.